What's up everybody, it's Bloodshed Romance. Today I've got a fix for the AMD Radeon ReLive software uh, causing the record or stream or anything like that disabled due to prod or protected content. Uh, turns out that it has something to do with the Crimson ReLive 1612 1 drivers and the 1612 2 drivers. Both of those versions cause issues so you can't record or stream your desktop. My Aver Media Capture Cards and my Live Gamer HD and my Live Gamer Portable both had issues where I couldn't stream or record anything because it just told me that it was protected content. It turns out the drivers are the problem. So I'm going to show you how to fix that so you don't have to worry about that being a problem. I would show you the instance happening, but here's a picture of the error I was getting using the ReLive software because my uh, AverMedia software would only sometimes tell me the error. So what you have to do is you go to AMD's AMD Clean Un Uninstall Utility page, linked in the description below. Uh, you download this. You hit save it, and then you can come up here and just run it. I have it saved to a folder on my desktop. So you just run the AMD Cleanup Utility. I'm going to say yes. It's going to ask you and tell you you're going to remove all of your drivers. You're going to have nothing left. It's going to take all of it and go away with it. You want to say yes or okay, whatever. And then it's going to run down here. Just kind of do its thing. Eventually, it does take a second. And I don't think I can tell. Oh, there it goes. And it made it stop working. It's also breaking my capture card. <laughs> Screen's just flashing right now. And then we're going to have this. Where it just takes the driver and goes away with it. So now if you go to Device Manager... It should say standard VGA graphics adapter. I need to move my face so you can see this. This is important. Standard, standard VGA graphics adapter. That needs to say that. If that does not say that, your drivers are not removed. You need to run it again. I haven't seen that happen, but there is a chance that could happen. And then it's gonna tell you you need to reboot your computer. You wanna say yes. So it'll close out whatever you're doing. Don't leave any of it up. I need to actually go tell this to, uh, Save my tabs. Show my tabs from last time. That's fine. Then close out, and then yes. So now it's going to reboot. Once we load back into Windows, in your device manager, it should still say standard VGA graphics adapter. This should be the same for Windows 10 and 7. I am currently on 7 because I thought it was a Windows 10 issue and I formatted my computer. You don't have to do that. I was just trying to fix it quickly. Uh, anyway, after you've run the un uninstall utility, I have confirmed that the Crimson Edition 16.11.5 hotfix works with no problems. The 16.12.11 and 16.12.2, those are the ones that cause this problem. Uh, links to this is also going to be in the description below. I also have this on my desktop because I pre-downloaded it. So I'm just going to run it. I'm going to say yes. Install. So once you get to this, all of this should already be checked. You can just go ahead and hit install. I like to install the application profile so you can get a little bit more uh, out of your drivers and just hit install. It'll probably pop up and say, do you want to install this? This is a AMD proprietary display adapter. It's going to replace the standard VGA adapter from your device manager. So after they are done installing, it's going to prompt you to restart again. You just want to go ahead and restart now. So once your computer is restarted after installing the drivers, you should be able to go into your device manager, see your graphics card, and see the uh, generic PMP monitor. Um, that should, shouldn't matter if that says something else or not, so I wouldn't stress too much about that. The big thing is your, your drivers are installed. If you go to the uh, Radeon settings, it should say 16.11.5, at least for right now, as of 12.20 at uh, 6.34 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> um, 
The 16.11.5 drivers work fine, obviously, because I can record this video so you see it. Uh, just to make sure, though, I'm going to go ahead and run a game real quick of Killing Floor because I would like to make sure that my drivers are actually performing the way they should be. They will obviously, obviously, either work or not work. You're either going to get your frame rate you should be, or you're going to just be, like, dragging stuff through butter. I don't, I, I don't know. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Not butter. Butter's slippery. Yeah. Stalling for time because this takes forever to load for some reason, even though I think I have this on my solid Oh well. We are in game. I'm going to do solo offline short four waves. I'm just going to play a couple rounds. Make sure it's working. So my frames per ups, uh, frames per ups. My frames per second counter is in the top left, which is under my head. I'm gonna go throw that on the other side real quick, just because. Why not, right? It's been a long day enough as it is. Ready up and make sure we are getting 62 frames a second, and generally this game pretty much locks at that, which is great. And looking around and doing some stuff, it's not doing too bad. Should be fine. Kill some stuff and we're frames are fine so that should be it to fix your stuff and allow you to keep streaming um like this video if you like it and dislike it if you disliked it let me know if the real life software did this to you and gave you crap i have my own hardware uh hardware capture card so i don't really need the real life software to do it for me but it would have been nice to be able to just be able to use your drivers to do it, kind of like NVIDIA's Shadow Play. I think that's what they're going for here. But uh, let me know in the comments below if this helped you out, and uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. I'll go find this last zombie and kill him. Oh, there he is. Aw. There we go.